Is it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> like this, eh? Hey, why are you dressed all, always the same, eh? People will think that we will filming all in one day. <laughs> well, hey, hey, viewers, of course. Friends, salute and welcome to the Petrinchich Brothers RC Aviation channel. The channel where we will try to test as many different planes as possible in our lifetime. The channel when we film from an amateur point of view. The channel when we don't edit nothing, we just turn the camera on and what the hell we show you all a the channel when we try to give you good information about the planes that we test, the basic information that are important, CG travels and how much of battery and fuel you will suck. And of course the point of this channel is since we're not filming this for money, we want to show you the true meaning of this hobby and this is to have the ultimate fun in your life. Because you never know what will happen tomorrow, so you must have fun today. And if anybody is still wondering if you should buy your first plane, click start today. And believe me, hey, you will be an addict for a lifetime. But like I always say, it's a good addiction, so what the hell, hey? Why am I always dressed the same? Yes. Because I spend most of my money on planes. And once and for all... And they will think that it is true, eh? Yeah, but it is true, Captain Blush, but what's with you, eh? What? Do you know what I have to dress? I have that working cloth that I'm always in because most of the time I'm dressed in my working clothes but other from that I have maybe what? Two sweatshirts, I have uh, three, four this with the hoods and of well, course I have... Do you know what I also have? I do hope that you have at least seven underpants. I have a lot of underpants, a lot of socks, but other than that, I don't have much. But I still have my wedding, uh, no, it's not called the wedding dress, how do you call it? Yes, the wedding dress. Yeah, but that is for the women, they have wedding dress. I have wedding clothes, I mean, call them like that. Yeah. That I have and it's good enough for me, if you will say. Who cares about Yeah, the but they don't fit you anymore, so... I want to buy 100 clothes if I can buy 100 plates. But what will you like? Yes, yes. <laughs> okay. I'd rather spend money on my family and on the planes, and that is good thing. Now, of course, show to the viewers what do we have today. Of course, on this channel, if you're following us, you already know that the best plane planes for me are the EDF chats. I mean, I'm so in love with them, and I would have every single one in the world someday, but slowly and gently we will come to that. So the famous question on this channel, what do we have today? Another sexy EDF jet. Now this is a jet that you don't see every day on the YouTube. I mean, there is a few videos of this, of the of the of this kind of plane. I will tell you right now what it is. You have already seen it. It's a fly fly hobby Hawker Hunter 90 mm ADF jet. Now this is so sweet. Of course, while I'm talking, I will start to cut. Yes, do. Now what's the point of this? Like I was saying, usually you will see on the videos of this plane. You will see these planes bought in the kit version because in fact you have many options on what kind of version you try and you, you would love to buy this. You have the kit version where you can only buy the airframe. You have the kit version that you can buy the airframe with the landing gear and the servos. You have the option when you buy this, I don't know, maybe just with the servos without the landing gear and without the motor and EDF. But, of course, on this channel we always try to test the planes. I mean, I love to test the planes in the stock version, as you can get them from the manufacturer. So that means that I have ordered myself this time the plug and fly version. Because I don't want to bother with uh, buying another EDF uh, unit, I don't know what. And I want to see how the, the original stock fabric version looks like a eh? way but I didn't film it I must be the first one to see it well, I have seen it before you that, eh? <laughs> and since we have shitty weather but eh, this looks pretty good to me wait 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 it's nah, a, of yeah. course of course we can show oh Swiss yeah of course it's hey, a, look at this Swiss now show this oh look at this Air Max put it inside put it inside <laughs> Look! Yep. But what's with you, eh? Show for the first time how the book look! The book look... Uh, book look? Hey, what is book you're look? you're screwing me! What the box... Look your hands, eh? What the box you looks like inside. You always have to stick your hands somewhere, eh? 
first show to the viewers how it looks when you open yourself a box with the plug and fly version. Hey, pop. But what's with you again? Yeah, you sent me the show. Show this first. Oh, yeah. How you get the plane. You have the plane, you have the stickers. Of course, look at this instruction manual. This is the, the Bible for all the planes. And you have all the gadgets here. Now show this, and now you can show this to the viewers. Oh, it looks pretty good, eh? Well, I think that it will, eh? I have seen the video of this, eh? Now, of course, this is the EPS foam. Now that means, like we always say, you just give a crooked eye to this uh, foam and it, you, you will have dents. But the good point of this uh, foam is that it's pretty light. So with the, it, the same motor, the same you battery, have extra power. you have extra power because the, the plane is light, right? So this is it, we can start on box cat and blush. Yes. Otherwise you will die there because, hey, hey, you just can't wait. No. No, of course. Hey. Are there two motors or what? What two motors? Is it twin EDF? It can't be. Hey, why is... This is not the main. Why is that box? Yeah, but wait, we will come to that. Yeah, but... Hey. Can't you see? Yeah. How the box is... Put it in! Hey, I can see... I can <laughs> see... Put it in there. Hey, I can see XT60 on the ESCs. XT60? Yes. Well, we will be surprised. That is why we are unboxing the Fly Fly Hobby Hawk Hunter in plug and fly version. Because, like I said, you don't have a video like this, so concentrate here, eh? Yes. First, I will start with the stickers. You have already shown them, but they are really, really beautiful. And look at this, and like I said, the instruction manual. Even on the manual, if you look at this plane, eh, it looks pretty good to me. What do you think, eh? Yes. Now, I will tell to the viewers that usually, it did cost me pretty much, I won't tell you how much, because this, in fact, wasn't from the European Union. So that means that beside the plane, I mean, just the plane in plug and fly version, it's not expensive. It costed me, I will tell you, around 250 euros for the plug and fly. It's not bad. <coughs> but then, then, you have almost 100 dollars of shipping. <gasps> yeah. And if you calculate that together, when it came to Slovenia, it went to the customs, oh. and then the customs, uh, 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 um, text me this even another 22% of the shipping and the cost of the plane. So at the end, it costed me pretty much. But hey, I think that this is the first one in Slovenia. And now, Captain Blush, should we start or what? Eh? Yes. I will start here. And for once, we can see, we will be able to see the quality of this plane. Now, already it looks to me that this will need. Hmm? What? A lot of assembly. Of course. Because it's... this comes now that is why they sold this in the kit versions without the servos, without anything. So that also means when you will get this plane, you will have to assemble everything, even the servos. But look at this. Hey. Look. Is this in half? This or is what? the back, yeah, of course. Oh look at this. Another fuel tank. Show to the viewers. You can show the fuselage. This is the back of the plane, I think. Hmm? Uh huh. Yes. A nice. And no, uh, it's all so light. This is really not uh, uh, so a paint job. This is not just some stickers on. The plane is painted, and because of the EPS foam, I mean, look, you you can hardly feel any weight of this, and even this, it's so light. But still, but still, look, sturdy enough, and I think that I will go today to the, to the shop and I will buy some protection for this. Uh -huh. I will spray it with, a, how do you call that? Lacquer. With the lacquer, just in case, so I won't... Transparent the... lacquer. Transparent lacquer. Maybe I will buy oh, the look glossy at, one. Hey, look at the shape of the fuel tank, hey. Hey. <laughs> Show me, give it to me. Show me. Show me, but don't do any sick things, hey. Because you can actually use this, you know, for what? Yeah, of course, this is the fuel tank for the fuel tank. Yes. Now I will put this in the back. I just hope that this will fit together perfect. And I think it will. Ooh. You also have to glue. Do you see this? I will show to the viewers. Yeah, it is in two halves. Yeah, even this is in two halves. It is just here. Do you see this? So tape, yeah. This tape holds this together. Because I think that you have to take this apart to assemble the EDF unit and then you glue this back together. But hey, hey, 
this will be a sexy project and if you have time will you be able to assemble it with that crooked maybe, fingers no i will see if i will be able to assemble with my crooked hand otherwise captain blush hey you will help me a little bit yeah when yeah when i don't know when eh? but maybe not today but hey hey i was thinking to oh look at those wooden parts inside there will be lots of, a, a lot of job to do eh? oh and i must still think with what to do this yeah I epoxy that, yeah yeah because i don't think that i will glue this with foam the, tech no 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 foam tech hmm? well the wooden stuff not okay maybe the rest of the foam what do you think eh? i don't know it will not be okay or what uh, you can use epoxy why not well hey hey i have a lot of epoxy i have a lot of everything so I will think of something, eh? Or maybe we just stick it in the box and wait until the spring. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like 99% like of the planes. Well, I don't think so, eh? Maybe I will assemble this, eh? Look at this, eh? But look how sexy it looks. Show this to the viewers. It's, this is the bottom. It's now... And do you see how hot it is? Oh, already now it's glossy. What's this? This is the bottom, huh? Who painted? Yeah, the bottom, eh? I think that this comes here, the suction's here. It sucks here. Or this, this, like this? Yeah, turn like this. Uh -huh. Of course, show this. I won't take it out right now. I will see later. <clears throat> hey, you just give the crooked eye to this and it's all broken. <laughs> no, no, of course, hey. It's still okay. Show this to the viewers. I won't take it out because I will take this wooden part. Ah, oh, look at this, hey. What? You see this? This part? What's that? It goes in here. I think. Where? Like it, like this. Into here. It is? Yes. Well, reinforcement. Reinforcement. During the assembly. Huh? What is this? The vertical stabilizer? And this sharp is not sharp as it used to be, Captain Bosch. I can hardly cut No, the because you cut everything with it, eh? <laughs> you cut everything, eh? Yeah. We are only cutting the boxes, eh? Even the steel sheets. And of course, look at this, eh? Mm -hmm. Ooh, a little crooked. Not bad. I will just fix this. Wait. I must fix it right now because I hate if the stuff is crooked on the new plane. Eh? Look at this. Uh -huh. the, the, the vertical stabilizer. Yes. Hey, but not bad, eh? Hey. Not bad, but because, there... like I said, it, I mean, can you imagine that this is the 90 millimeter EDF jack, and it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This okay, is hey, the hey, end. Hey, I have an excuse for this, eh? Hey. Yeah, uh, yeah. If you look, that this is 250 euros, eh? Hey, and it is 90 millimeter EDF jack in plug and fly version. Hey, I don't think that this is much, eh? Hey. For such kind of plane and so big. This plane. is not plug and play version. I mean, uh, this is uh, do, it, do it yourself uh, version. Ready to fly, I mean, ready to fly. <laughs> okay. Do it yourself version is this. Look at this, eh? Hey. Hey, how hard it is to glue the, the servo in, eh? Hey. That will not take too much, eh? Hey. Oh. Huh? Look at this, eh? Hey. Is, this, is this EPO? And you can see EPS? Right now. I don't think this is EPS, is this? It is the EPS because, hey, you can see right now, I mean. It doesn't look like, but but it is, Captain Blush. This is the EPS foam because it even says on the on the website. But hey, I love this two servos for the for the elevators because that means power on the elevator. You won't be screwed in the air. Eh? Mm -hmm. And now, of course, the fuselage. It is packed in a way that today we will take the fuselage out before. Oh, another rocket or what? Rocket? Yeah, this has the rockets and it, uh, I mean, uh, are those the rockets or maybe uh, it does have the fuel tanks also. And I will put all the gadgets on, hey, who cares, say, hey, for a little, maybe I will have some extra drag because of that. But who cares about the drag? Because the plane is light. Yes. And look at this, eh? Hey. Oh. Crooked, huh? Also a little late. Hey, don't. Broke it. Break it. No, I will just re-glue it a little. Because this, I think that you put them on or you don't put them on. I don't think that you have an option 
for some magnets. You can do the magnets later. Even this, do you see this, say? Mm -hmm. Oh, this will be summer Sunday. <laughs> it's all, look at this, say. It's all in, in part, say. In all will have to be glued together. But this will be a sexy project, day. Eh? Yes. This will be some sexy gluing. Maybe even with and that. With this landing gear in the front here, eh? Captain Blush, I think that I will need a serious day. Because already I'm wondering if, if I will be able to assemble this with my crooked hands, eh? Now show that. All your struts. It does come. Now I was just wondering what kind of wheels. Wheels? What kind of wheels will it have? Hey, but it looks pretty good to me. Show me this. Hey. Dimensions. Hey, look at this. Look, look. The suspension on the front wheel and even the suspension on the back. Look, hey, show what, this. What show is? this. Look. Hey. Hey, the wheels are pretty good. Hey. How is and this? I think that they will be able to to take even our grass runway with this. Hey, how is this operated? What? Show me this. Do you need a servo for this or what? Yeah, this is for the wheels. But is everything inside? Yeah, even the even the steering or some more. Well, it should be. Ah, is it? This is not good. This is. Look at this. Ah, you have. Yeah. So this. What's this for the? If you have the, you can have the. Do you do you see this? You can have the. Uh, how do you call that? The mechanical yeah. landing gear. Or this. Or serverless. This is, look, this is the, oh yeah, yeah, okay. Hey, you can't believe this, hey, look at this, hey. You have two options, but hey, you don't see this every day. No. Do you see this, hey? hey this I've will never be seen in a one box to get two versions, hey. Because these are, show this, hey. These, these are, are serverless retracts, do you see yeah, this, hey? Yes. And these are mechanical retracts. And the ESC. Hey, but this is so Look sick. at the size of the ESC, eh? Hey. This is sick. Eh? And, and of course, mm -hmm. XT60. Hey, oh, I just love this that the XT60 is on because, hey, for 90 millimeters, hey, this will suck some air. Eh? Servos? What else do you have there? Ex servo extensions, everything you need. C five servos. Servo extensions, look at this, all the five servos. And the Y cable, no. I think. Hey, all that you need. This is amazing. Of course. Oh, look at this. You don't have the flaps on look this? Look at this EDF unit. Oh, EDF unit, show me this. How many blades? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. Seven? Seven blades, eh? I've never seen seven blades before. This is the first one with the seven blades. We have seen the with five, five blades, six blades, yeah. eight blades, nine. Well, well, hey, seven is good, eh? I think that the sound will be pretty good, but the point is, why is the point in the blades? I mean, the more blades you have, the better sound you have, the more EDF jet sound. But the lower amount of the blades, that means that the engine is more efficient and you will not suck so much power and you will still have good thrust. Eh? What's that? Specifications of the motor. Yeah, there is just one motor. You it says... Motor, say. it can't be two motors. Yeah, but why well. is box made like... Ah, it splits in the middle, eh? Yeah, of course it splits. You need... If you're, you are, ah, seven blade, it's a seven blade. Yeah, exactly. On what will you use, 6S? Yeah, on 6L. 6 6L, 6 it will suck 80 amps. 1,680 one, one, watts and 2.8 kilograms of thrust. 2.8 and the whole plane will weigh less than two kilos. So that means that we will have more than one to one ratio of thrust to weight here. So I think that this will be some, a really sick, Sick idiot. Yeah. Sick son of a bee. <laughs> yeah, son of a gun, eh? I will take this out, wait. Don't break nothing, don't oh, break wait, 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 wait. Okay, now, do it now. Oh! I look this. But again, eh, I just hate this, eh? Do you see this? On this EPS foam, look at this. Uh, Always there is something... Crooked. <laughs> crooked at, at, the, at the tips, eh? But look at this, hey! Look at the size of this. Now, of course, I will, I will take it out slowly and gently. But this knife, a hey, captain watch. I'll have to sharpen it. It doesn't cut nothing anymore. Oh, also here, look at this, hey! Oh, 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 oh. What? Must be careful. 
because in fact is it broken no now like i said you can see here that this plane doesn't have flaps uh -huh. just the 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 yeah but look how how the halves are done eh? say. one half of the engine look here go here comes i think the edf or what so hey, but look at those wings so i say look at this say eh? An all hand painted, but you can see here. Look at this already. Look what uh, yeah. the surface is like this. I mean, of course, I will put some glue in, and after it will be all glued together, it will be okay. Get and wash. Uh, I will put this here. Should we put look, it here? another one? Another fuel tank. Wait, I wait. just take, take this out. They are glued here on the bottom for some protection. Just put it there. I won't even take out this wing. Of course, look at this. Also, is it a little broken? Do you see? But no, not that, not that, the whole way. And like I said, when it will be when it will be glued together, hey, it will be okay. I will just I will just put it like this. I won't even assemble nothing. Because <laughs> how can I assemble this? No. You can't assemble. One nothing. table of parts. Well, you have one table of parts, but the most important thing is that you have all the parts that you need. I mean, hey, it looks pretty good to me. Huh? What do you think happened? Yeah, in the end it will be okay, hey. but it, it will take some time. No, it will take some time to assemble. I can't wait to get to this, eh? But hey, once this will be assembled, I mean, look at the size of this, eh? And can you imagine, look, if, if I take this, eh? Hey, this will be so big. Play. I, I give, put this give the tail to me. I will show you how it comes. Like this. And you no, put it, it can't be yeah, like yeah. this. Hey. But what's with you? It's like this. It can't be. You can't have the bottom paint. No, like it's this. You're crazy. Like this. But hey, viewers, wait, 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 wait. Hey, I mean, look at this. Hey. Look at the length. Look at. Hey. <laughs> Uh, I think this is the, the longest EDF that I have by now. I mean, this is how it will look when it will be assembled. I mean, look at the length of this plane. Eh? And still so light. And on the six cell power. And on the seven blades. Eh? Oh, good catch, eh? <laughs> no, Your I hand mean, is getting better, eh? No, I have the movements, eh? I am quick on this. But just the fingers are not working. But, eh, hey, viewers, at the end, eh, this hand will be... Yeah. So this is it. Yes. What to tell at the end? Well, for 250 euros, eh, I'm pretty impressed. Eh? I'm pretty impressed. Even though it doesn't have the flaps, which I don't even think that this will need one because it is light plane and it will land perfect even without the mate. And for this kind of money, look. Yeah, you got pretty much, pretty a lot. Yeah, pretty a lot. To, this effect, pretty a lot to do, yes. I mean, a lot of work, but hey, hey, it's so good if you have time and to assemble the planes. I mean, that is the time that you bond with the plane. And once it's assembled, it will still easier be to assemble than some balls plane, Captain Blush, I think. But still, still, hey, this will be perfect, eh? Of course, you will need to help me, but hey, who cares, eh? At the end, I can't wait to hear this sucker to suck good on our runway and if you just look at this that this is pretty long fuselage 90 millimeter edf jet with all that you need even the landing gear from aluminum i mean a hey, on which one do you have do you get for this kind of money i don't think that you have the jet with the landing gear like this hey, yeah. for 250 because if i just look at this this costs me exactly the same as the bea hawk Free wing 70 millimeter jet. It costs me the same, the same money. That one is also around 250. Now don't get me wrong, free wing planes and jets are still the best on the market that you can buy. But if you just look at the price, that that one is 70 millimeter and you don't get the aluminum landing gear on, and it costs 250, and here you have a 90 millimeter jet that I think will fly exactly the same and I already believe that this will be one great flyer. What do you think? I think it will I be. I think it will be because the wing area is pretty big. Eh? So this is it. What to tell at the end? I can't wait to see this, the overset. And just expect it. It will be... It will be... Do you know what I did? What I have checked? 
Just this, eh? this will be perfect for my crooked hand. Do you see this? Eh? Do you see one thing that we have missed? Look at the rudder. No rudder. Yeah, it doesn't even have the rudder, eh? because it don't need it. Rudder, viewers, I will just tell you one secret. How do I fly jets? Now why do I use rudder and for what? On the jets, I use rudder only on the takeoff, but that is the steering wheel. It does have the rudder for the steering. And maybe on the landing to align the plane with the, with the runway. But once you're in the air on the jets, you don't need the rudder to fly the way. Just the ailerons and the elevator and, and you will fly jets good. So this one even doesn't have it. And again, this is one plus to my crooked hand because I do have the problem with this hand to manage throttle and, and the rudder at the same time. So this will be, I think that this will be my perfect jet until my hand gets better. So this is it, enough Captain Blush. Yes, more than enough. The rain is raining, the snow is coming, hey. And yes. we have this beautiful, sexy Hawker Hunter here on the table to assemble. So this is it. Yes. Pilot Robert and Captain Blush signing off from Slovenia with another option to buy another beautiful, sexy EDF jet. <coughs> the 90mm 7-blade 6-cell Hawker Hunter with a pretty long fuselage, I think the longest in our hand by now. Really. Just waiting for the for the perfect video of this. So this is it. We always mm -hmm. love you all, of course. Like we always say, we appreciate every view that you come, every subscription that you make on our channel. By that means that you support our channel. Every thumb, thumb up, even the thumbs down. Who cares about them? Eh? And of course, like we said, for sharing the passion for these planes to the to the rest of the world, because like we always say, this is just the best hobby in the world, eh? <laughs> I will just cut now. <laughs> Yo, I would love to fly, eh? Until the last day of my life, eh? So this is it, no Captain Blush, Because after this, when you will cut the camera off, we will decide if we will start to assemble this, or maybe I will just put it in the box for a few days, or something like that, eh? So this is it. Yes. Thanks again.